Thanks for staying on Joe News today. Now, the Ghana Dangbe youth are threatening to hit the streets should President Okufuado nominate non gas as MMDCE's Matoda Wamega joins us on the telephone with some updates. Hi, Matoda. Now, who addressed this particular briefing at which this uh, threat was made? And what exactly did they say? So, according to these uh, members of the Dangbe Youth Association, they are already raising concerns. So, there's no official communication from the president as to the names that are being called for uh, this position that we are talking about. But already, they are saying that they've heard from the grapevine that uh, this, uh, there are some people, some non guards who are already uh, lobbying to, for this position. So they are saying that they would hit the streets should the president go ahead to put their names there as uh, MMDCs. Uh, according to them, the reason why they are raising uh, these concerns about gas, uh, Gantangbe, to, 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 to be put, uh, whose name should be placed for the MMDCs is that it's only Gantangbe who are best understand the issues affecting those of them who live within this area. So uh, that should be the priority of the president. Should he uh, be picking up names for this position? But they are saying that they will do whatever in their part to stop anyone who is not ga, non Gandangbe uh, for this position that they are, they are, they are raising concerns over Bennett. Right, Matilda, did they come across as angry or just putting in an appeal? No, it is not an appeal. From uh, uh, interviews I had with one of the, the leaders, uh, that is uh, the president of the Gandangbe, the president for the Gandangbe consensus, that is me, I feel at the first. He appeared very angry. I asked him whether he has names of these people. He mentioned that uh, already there are some two names that he are hearing from AME. That is one is the uh, Honorable Elizabeth Saki and me, Ajay Sowa, and Professor Dodi. They are saying that these three names have already come up, and they are saying that no one should speak to the president. But the president, in as much as he reserves that party to appoint these persons, they are saying that the first priority should be someone who is the guard at Dangbe, who best understands the issues of uh, those who live within this area and can best address the Senate. Matilda, did they give any indication that hitting the streets will be their first resort? Yes, that will be their first resort, yes. That is demonstrating against uh, whoever is uh, put, uh, whoever is uh, nominated by the president for this position. All right, thank you very much uh, for, for the updates, Matilda Wemega, my colleague uh, there. Away from that, one of the basic necessities of life is nourishment, but food prices are becoming increasingly expensive. In President Okufuado's words, at the New Year's school, food has now become very expensive and, in fact, no longer affordable for a lot of Ghanaians. He has therefore proposed interventions to deal with the situation. But for what goes, but what goes in the price of food? Join us as Jennifer Kwama has been speaking with some vendors and market women. Security is an issue that is of high concern to every Ghanaian. Little wonder, then, that during his address on the first day of the New Year's School at the University of Ghana, Ligon, President Ekufuado pointed out that the high cost of foodstuffs is one problem that needs to be resolved as quickly as possible. The president is not alone in this sentiment. Food vendors and market women agree and shared with Joy News how these prices are affecting their business. Abraham Kofi Akolache is one of the managers of popular eatery Odo Rice. Sometimes things go higher, but it, it's you, the way you manage the company. The things you, you know that is higher, we don't, buy, we don't buy it in large quantity. Instead, tomatoes, onion, pepper, garden eggs, okra. Instead of you buying it in a week, you, use three, you buy it three days so that it will be fresh. So that some will not go spoil, you throw some away. How much do you spend on your tomatoes, your onion, garden egg? It depends on the market prices. Sometimes we go, sometimes we get it lesser, sometimes we get it higher. So if you, if like you have to buy four, and the price is three hundred cities, four boxes of tomatoes, and one is three hundred. And the reduces come to three, 150, and one is one, 150. One is 150 per, per box. This year uh, is just January. 
this year things have been tough for us just the beginning because january onion onion tomatoes go higher on january especially onion tomatoes pepper go higher on january F march april may it come down so we know that general things will go higher but with our management team we decide to maintain our prices and everything like that we know that up to february march things will come down so we are, we are still maintaining our, our prices we also spoke to an onion trader who shared with us how the fluctuating currency as well as the long journeys undertaken by onion traders results in the high prices of onions on the market. A bag of onion costs 300 Ghana cities. There's a variety that is imported from Boku, which is no longer in season. Right now, the Niger variety is in high demand by restaurant owners. We also have varieties from Libya and Holland on the market. This year, the prices are better. Last year, a bag of onion was selling at 500 Ghana cities and sometimes 400 Ghana cities. Other times, too, you'll get it at 550 Ghana cities or even as high as 600 Ghana cities. But this year, by God's grace, onions are in large supply, and so the price has dropped to between 320 Ghana cities and 300 Ghana cities. I think the price went up because of the distance involved before the onions arrive in Accra. It can take between four and five days, and the CFA to CD currency conversion could also be a factor. For Joy News, Jennifer Ikwamwa. The funeral, but also a rich cultural display of the Ashanti tradition as dignitaries from different parts of the world converged at Menchia yesterday for the final for the funeral rites of the late manor of the Asante Helena Nefia Kubita Wampin the second. Now uh, as the four-day ceremony continues today, we bring you up to speed on some cultural highlights of the Ashanti Kingdom. We'll bring you that story later. Now, medical personnel deployed at the burial ceremony for the late Asante Hema attended to 420 people for various conditions, including one for gunshot wounds on the first day of the event. Oyeming Terrier has been speaking with medical authorities at the Mencia Palace. He's joined me on the line with more details. Hi, Oheming, what more can you tell us on this? Uh, yes, uh, according to uh, the medical personnel who have been providing emergency care uh, to people who have been attending the funeral of the late uh, Asante Hima, uh, they tell me they have three uh, mobile clinics uh, filled uh, with uh, 50 uh, doctors uh, some of whom are specialists and 200 being supported by 250 nurses as well as uh, emergency care providers. And uh, they told me, as, as of yesterday, uh, they had treated 420 uh, people for uh, various conditions ranging from diabetic and hypertensive uh, emergencies. Uh, some uh, people were also uh, said to have been dehydrated. Uh, so uh, at a point, they had to refer uh, two people to the Manchia Hospital and the Kompanochi Institution Hospital uh, where they were also uh, uh, re uh, uh, retained. And I'm told uh, one of the people who was admitted at the Kompanochi Institution Hospital is a male adult aged about 30 years. Uh, he was actually uh, uh, admitted uh, for uh, gunshot wounds. And according to Dr. Abeta Brutum uh, who is the coordinator of the medical personnel here, uh, the condition of this uh, uh, particular man uh, is in stable condition now, but I'm told uh, he, he will require uh, a surgery uh, to, to correct uh, what uh, the medical uh, doctors uh, describe as a bad wound uh, that he saw. All right, uh, uh, Erastus. Uh, Erastus, do we, I'm sorry, Ohiming, sorry, Ohiming. Um, do we know how this uh, gunshot wound occurred, how he, he, he got shot? Yes, uh, uh, notable of the funeral uh, grounds here, 
uh, they have been firing off masses uh, uh, almost everywhere you go. Uh, so I'm told uh, it was one of these uh, masses uh, that hit him. But unfortunately, uh, the one who fired uh, the musketry uh, has been using a uh, live uh, ammunition. Uh, so uh, when he tried uh, first to fire, it uh, refused to fire. And uh, so he tried some sort of to fire again. And that is when uh, this uh, stray bullet uh, hit uh, the male adult. Uh, for now, he has been admitted at the Kompanoshi City Hospital. Uh, the last check, uh, my, my last check from the hospital indicates uh, it's not sure, clear uh, whether he has been uh, 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 operated or not, but medical officers tell me uh, his condition uh, is stable. But they, they have been giving uh, some sort of advice to the general public, especially uh, for those who want to come uh, and also uh, take part uh, in this uh, uh, historic event. Uh, Doctor says uh, when you are coming, make sure uh, you take in a lot more water uh, besides that. You also make sure that you eat it and also uh, take your medicine, especially uh, those who are on diabetic and, and hypertensive uh, drugs. Uh, they have to take them before uh, coming to the funeral ground. Thank you, Oheming. We'll have to hand it here. Thank you so much for uh, the update. You're watching Joy News today. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, Emmanuel Abuatiriaka will join us with the latest in the world of business.